what I really like about parades is how I've seen how all of the happy faces. <laughs> An annual tradition in Maine is now underway. People lining the streets in Yarmouth tonight to watch the Clam Festival Parade. More than 130 people, including New Center Maine's David Guilford and Sam Olson, paraded down the mile and a half route. It also featured floats, marching bands, antique cars, and entertainers from all over Maine and New England. I grew up in Portland and Falmouth and uh, grew up coming to the Clam Festival, so it's just really special to show my kids this kind of tradition. The festivities continue over the weekend. Jack Moment and Samantha York will need your support as they go for gold in the clam shucking competition tomorrow morning. Also tomorrow, Rob Caldwell will MC the People's Muster competition. And on Sunday, Lee Goldberg is emceeing the famous Diaper Derby. It takes organizers months to plan this event. People who live in Yarmouth wait all year to place their chairs along Main Street and enjoy the show. That's one of the many traditions being celebrated this weekend, and there are some new ones literally taking shape. Here's New Center Main Sam Rogers. A lot of shoveling, that's for sure. Amanda Bolda getting her hands dirty. It was my bright idea because I'm a professional sand sculptor. Along the parade route. You wouldn't believe the reaction that you get from people. In preparation for the Clam Fest Sand Fest. We break our backs, we sacrifice our bodies for the love of art. <laughs> Finding that love with her mom, the two moving from Skowhegan to Florida, perfecting the craft, grain by grain. There's a lot of intricacies, a lot of details, techniques that you need to learn. That's not too much different than planning this parade. The community is what makes the Clam Festival Parade happen. But it's Courtney Kennedy's job to make sure the Mainers in these chairs or this bathtub enjoy the show. Do you know who Whose bathtub I, this is? is I this don't know rogue, whose bath it is. Rogue bathtub. It's a rogue bathtub. For years, it's tradition for Yarmouth residents to claim their spot on Main Street with their preferred seating choice. You know, over the years, we've had things like toilets sitting out here. Kennedy isn't exactly sure how the tradition started. Well, it's really something to look forward to. We certainly do. But Barry Godowski yeah. makes sure there's seating for the whole family. We've been setting up bleachers ever since we moved here in 1981. And he'll never miss it. You either have to get into it or leave town. One or the other, there's no in between. And you decided to get into it? Yeah, we decided to get into it. You know, I moved up here in 1990 and okay. the first thing we did was went to the Clam Festival. Now in 2023, Tim Gatz oversees the entire thing. And absolutely wild how suddenly I find myself immersed in it. He's the executive director of the festival already dreaming of lime Rickies because I could already taste one. <laughs> Luckily for him, the sandbar at Brickyard Hollow is ready to serve them. The energy is high. People are excited to come back. Families are celebrating together, inviting friends over from the community, having parties. Just make sure you don't steal this guy's seat or take PBs and don't even think about sitting here. Or the real people who are want to sit in this bathtub might have something to say uh, about it. <laughs> it's an honor system. No one is stealing spots. And once you find yours, it's time to sit back and enjoy. In Yarmouth, Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.